Hey guys, welcome back to the Imageworks Painting YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about one of the most frustrating things in painting for a lot of people. We're going to talk about touch-up painting. Now there's a couple things that you can do to help your touch-up painting go as smoothly as possible. Otherwise, you may end up with polka dots all over your wall. Um, this normally comes into play when someone's about to sell a house or maybe you've got some kids that run around and draw on the walls or uh, maybe you just moved in a new couch and all of a sudden you banged up a couple of walls and you just need to touch those up. So we're going to go through a couple of little tips, uh, a couple of tricks that, that we know here as painters and help you to try to get that touch up spot to blend in as well as possible. Um, probably the most important thing about touch up painting is using the exact same paint. Um, even if you are touching up a white wall like this one here, we used Sherwin-Williams Master Eyed on this because we wanted a really easy to touch up, really white, really flat paint. Um, if we came in even with Sherwin-Williams Super Paint White, it's a different color white than the Master Hide White. Um, by the time they dry down, you'll see the Super Paint has just a little bit more shine to it, even though they're both flat. And all those little factors play a big part in touch-up painting. So you need to make sure that you have the exact same gallon. So keeping a record of the different paints, not only the color and where it is in your house, but what type of paint you used on those walls plays a really important factor later when you need to touch them up. All right, today we're gonna to be touching up this yellow stripe. Uh, when I painted the blue, I got a couple little tiny drips down at the bottom. So we're gonna use that to show you guys exactly the different tips and tricks and methods that we use to do touch up painting. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so there are two different techniques to touching up a wall. You can either touch it up in exactly the same way that you painted it. So this here was painted with a roller. Uh, it was actually painted with this exact same roller and that's really important because the way that the paint comes off of a roller cover is different whether you're using a mohair, a woven, um, a striped woven, all of those leave different stipple as the paint is coming off. So if you're going to roll it, make sure that you're using the exact same roller cover and applying it the exact same way that you painted the wall. Now, I know that you painted a wall six years ago and now you've got to touch it up and you have no idea what roller cover you used. Um, there are a lot of roller covers out there that are really good all-purpose roller covers. And so for the homeowner, that would generally be the best type of roller cover so that you always know you're using the exact same one. Um, for whiz rollers, we always use a striped woven. Well, I shouldn't say always. 95% of the time we're using striped woven roller covers. Um, for the actual nine inch roller, a lot of times we're using nylon polyesters. Uh, they work really well on drywall. Uh, that's just for interior painting. For exterior, you have to use it depending on what substrate you're actually painting on. The other option for touching up is just a good old paintbrush. And we're gonna talk about how to actually touch up with a paintbrush to try to minimize the spot that you're touching up and try to make it blend in as well as you can even though you didn't paint your whole wall with the paintbrush. All right, so I also have myself a gallon grid here. Rather than using a cut pot, I know there's only about a quart left inside this gallon. So we're gonna go ahead, open it up, and we're just gonna throw a gallon grid in there rather than dirty up a cut pot. All right. All right, so you can tell I did get a couple of little blue drops on the wall. I didn't notice this until after it had already dried. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go back and we're gonna touch up these spots with the yellow paint that we used. The product that we used on this wall was the Duration Home Flat from Sherwin-Williams. Uh, this is a true flat that they finally came out with. It's one of Sherwin's most scrubbable and washable paints and just a really, really good product that they have. All right, you can see I did go ahead and throw the gallon grid in there so that we've got something to roll the excess paint off of. And we're going to do these first two spots down here just using the mini roller. Now this is exactly how I painted the stripe on the wall. So we should have a really good shot of this touching up really, really well. Now one of the things you're going to notice when you do go ahead and you put the paint on the wall is the dried color of paint is definitely different than the wet color of paint. All right, now you can see that blue is very, very dark compared to the rest of this. So it's going to take 
probably two to three coats to go ahead and cover that. All right. What you want to do is you want to roll this until it starts to get a little thin, until you can start to see some of that old color. Still trying to leave it as thick as you can right on the spots that you're touching up. But you want to feather out those edges. Try to give them a shot to blend into the color around it. The other technique that we can use is using a brush to go ahead and try to touch up a couple spots. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and load our brush up here with a little bit of paint. Thing about using a brush, you never really wanna get more than you need to on the paintbrush. It's gonna save you time you need to clean up. It's gonna be a lot easier to control if just the tips of your bristles are wet. All right, when you do a brush touch up, you want to start from the center of your touch-up spots and you kind of want to do just a starburst or an asterisk out. What you're doing is you're using those brush tips to go ahead and try to blend it into the paint around it. Same thing with the mini roller. This is going to take a couple coats to actually cover that blue because it's such a drastic difference. As you can see there, make the spot as small as possible while still bringing it out far enough to try to blend in to the paint around it. Okay. All right, here it is after a second coat drying, and you can see that those little touch-up spots are gone. You can dry it in nice and well. Look at it from an angle. Even, you can't see where the touch-up starts and finishes. And that's what you want. You want to be able to look at it from all your different angles and not see your touch-up spots. All right. Now, no matter how well you follow these tips and tricks, there are times that touch-up painting just won't work. A lot of times, the first time that you go to touch up a wall after a brand new construction home, there's nothing that you can do that's gonna make those touch-up spots blend in. Um, one trick you could try as a last-ditch last effort is to thin out that builder's grade paint just about 5% with water um, or oil uh, paint thinner if it's an oil-based paint, but water if it's a latex paint, which is what's gonna be on all your walls at your new house. Um, try that, try thinning it out, see if that helps at all. Otherwise, you're just gonna have to paint the wall from corner to corner that's the worst news that we have to give people sometimes is that there's nothing else that you can do is just paint that wall from corner to corner. Uh, new construction homes are the worst about it because a lot of times those things just get painted blow and go fast as you can, get some paint on the wall and get out of there. Um, that's why we don't do a lot of that type of work here at ImageWorks unless it's a really high end home and we know that we're putting on two nice thick coats of paint back rolled and everything so that touch up's possible. I hope that you guys learned something new about touch-up painting in this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and subscribe to our channel so that you can see more of them as we make them. And hit that notifications bell so it lets you know when we do that. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.